Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. Uh, in today's video, we have a, a tablet, uh, which is a Linux brand. This uh, one is a Linux Neuron pad uh, with an Intel processor. This laptops or tablet, you can actually detach the top part just by lifting up and it will come out pretty easy. They have a little tiny issue that when you try to run them for a little bit of period of time or trying to put some little bit of work on it, it just freezes and it just like you have to shut it down and wait for it to cool down. I'm going to open it up and show you guys the fix for this issue. To open this one up, you need few tools. Tool number one, it's a screwdriver set, which I use the iFixit tool set. This one they come with all the bits that you need. It's really good to have around the house. We're gonna be using bit Phillips double zero. Also, you will be needing an opening tool. Uh, for opening tool, you can get the extended uh, pack for this iFixit. They come with uh, opening tools and everything else that you need. I'll leave the link in the description, which are these ones over here. You can have this opening tool. Or if you don't want to purchase this one, you can grab a simple guitar pick. These metallic guitar picks are really handy and it's really good to opening this type of equipment. First thing first, you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover. So somewhere over there. And then you want to stick it towards the gray top cover and you just want to twist it. Just go there and just twist, go all around it and you want to see a tiny gap opening at the bottom. Go on the bottom side, same thing here, just go ahead and pop it open. Go all the way to the other corner, and now let's do the other side. You have to get into it. When you get to the I.O. side, just go around it, and go on the top corner, and there we have it. Once you have the bottom side and the side, just go ahead and lift it up a little bit, and once it's loose enough, you want to grab the top portion and do the top side. Just go around it. There we go. And you want to put face down and lift up the top cover. And down here we can see all the component that it has. The big huge battery is a two cell battery. First thing first, we want to disconnect the battery by pulling this jack backwards. So put your fingernails on the back side, on the jack, and then pull it back. And that will disconnect the jack. Now we can see the heat sink right here. As I'm pressing on the heat sink, I see a little space, and I don't know, it's just not touching anything. So we're going to go ahead and remove these two screws right here. And now we can go ahead and, uh, there's one more black screw right here, the tiny one. Alright, now we can go ahead and lift up this shield. And you can see the surprise that I got. So this heat sink is not actually even touching the CPU and apart from that, it has a little isolation on the top. So this isolation is preventing from the, even if it was touching, for the heat to transfer easy so we're gonna do a really nice fix for this one huge difference is gonna be so what you want to do you want to cut the space where the CPU is gonna touch uh, easier way it's I'll make it really easy for you guys so let's grab a tiny drop of thermal paste with a tiny drop right in the, on the CPU and put a line the heat sink and bring it down and press right here and let go. 
You can see actually there's a little tiny marks here, a square mark. That means the CPU is right over here. So, and now go ahead and lift it up, and there's the mark for the CPU. So, you want to cut about around it. So, go. And go ahead and peel it off. So there's a cut right in there. Now if you put thermal paste right there, it's not going to do a big job because there's a huge gap right there. So we need to fill this gap, we're going to add a thermal paste and we're going to put a really nice good thermal paste to do the job. So let me get my alcohol. So first, let's go ahead and clean up the CPU. Now also we can help it with the, there's a shield at the back. We can put a thermal pad on the back side. So let's go ahead and remove the cables by lifting up this jack and pulling up this cable. Grab this other cable, extension board cable, pull it backward. The Wi-Fi cable, just lift it up. And this camera cable, just lift up the hinge. Pull the cable backward, same thing, pull, lift up the hinge, pull the touch cable, touchpad, remove this black screw right at the corner here, and remove one last screw right on the bottom by the speaker. Now we can go ahead and lift up this motherboard, and we know the CPU is right there. So we're going to put a tiny thermal pad right on the bottom first. So grab any type of thermal pad you like. I mean, thermal, actually, I'm gonna add this thermal tape. Is a thermal tape adhesive thermal tape? So let's go ahead cut this out. So cut this one out. Somehow I bought it underneath the CPU. Place it right there. You can do a better job than me. Uh, this laptop is not a high-end laptop, so. Now what you want to do, you want to lift up these adhesive tapes. Now that we have this adhesive right there, we're going to bring it down. And we're going to align it right over here. And we're going to stick it right to the board. Now it's actually sitting there nicely. So some of the heat is going to dissipate to the you know, aluminum sheet at the back. Uh, we're going to plug in the touchpad, the Wi-Fi, grab a tweezers. We'll make the life easier, grab it and just push down the cable for the Wi-Fi. Expansion board, just push in. LCD cable, plug in. The speakers, put the two screws, one on the top corner by the touchpad. And the other one is by the speaker. Now we're going to grab this thermal pad. This one uh, is a grizzly, uh, thermal grizzly pads. They are really high end ones. So they are really, really useful for these situations. So we're going to cut a little bit the die size, probably about there. You can cut bigger size, doesn't matter. And we're gonna place it right on the CPU. And lift up the plastic on the top. And there we have it. Now you're gonna grab the shielding, the heat sink. And now the heat sink is actually gonna do its job. It's gonna actually keeping the processor cool. Uh, you will see the difference after a few hours of the use. You will not freeze or do anything. So put the last screw right there. Now once we have this in place, uh, also if you have it in place, there's enough gap right here to hold it. So what you want to do, you want to grab a, a foam, adhesive foam type. And you want to cut this one a little bit, just like that. 
and you want to stick this one right where the CPU is so this is going to push over the cover and have a nice pressure towards the CPU put the battery plug it in and now what you want to do for the last step to grab the top cover bring it over and just push down the corner make sure you hear all those clicks and you should be all set I hope that you guys like this video and helped you guys out if it did please think about subscribing and if you click that thumbs up button it really helps and I really appreciate it if you have any questions or any requests leave them in the comment area and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can and again thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video